I'm just setting up for a video and Mousy wants to help. Don't you, Mousy? Look at the camera. You, oh, sorry, made you squeak. Mousy wants to help. Can't sit there. I'm about to do stuff. As with any eBay purchases, you never quite know what you're going to get. And I think I made a mistake when I ordered these. Uh, let's get one out of the packet and have a look. Ooh. So, DC 3.2 to 30 volt is what has turned up. And uh, hmm, we'll use them for now, but I have uh, my doubts. So don't make late night eBay purchases because you get the wrong thing. Two wire, which is good for us, but the problem is we haven't got that all important adjusting pot underneath. Um, adjust and calibrate your uh, little uh, meters. But I guess for now, as long as they all tally up with each other and read the same, um, we are going to be uh, able to use these for our project. Hopefully, we're not going to run the batteries down to uh, below 3.2. Uh, in in that case, if it if, if we do, then it's gonna it's gonna go off and it's not gonna power or read. So I'm gonna go and get a couple of bits together and uh, mount these up. I think. Right. So I've got a little board little bit of wood that I'm going to put some hot shmoo on and glue all these on side by side. Just temporary. Uh, this glue isn't very good anyway, so it's not going to um, cause too much trouble. Gonna have to wait. I kind of developed the idea a little bit further in my head, and uh, I've found a boost uh, buck converter that I had in stock. I'm gonna put two little rails all the way across. I'm gonna solder all the little leads to it, rather than uh, trying to squeeze all these nine leads together and solder them together all at once. Um, that way, we can keep the leads as long as they are. Just a little dab of solder to keep it on. And there shouldn't be any volt drop across this really because uh, the resistivity of this copper is well negligible in this length of thing and there's no load so it should be the same and then we can wind the pot up and down and uh, see if they all remain at the same voltage um, at the same time I think yeah oh, yeah that work work best so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna crack on solder these all up it's not gonna look pretty it's gonna be functional once again functional must be my middle name and uh, test them um, very shortly I guess right, with the, my trusty Roby power take off we are going to test this so I'm just gonna pop the battery in there quickly um, I put some cellar tape on it uh, because um, it makes it easier for you to see because the cable is going everywhere it is of course rough as anything yeah so let's turn the power on uh, it's, it's a buck converter so it will it'll only drop down from from that obviously the buck converter that is in the Roby thing is set to 12.8 um, now I haven't actually got a uh, instrument for turning this up and down so <laughs> I've got a, a scalpel with a, a damaged scalpel with a bit cut off the end so this they're all reading the same at the moment which is good so we're looking at 12.8 across the board 
Uh, I am going to go and get my other meter in a minute uh, and clip it on the end uh, to make sure that the the output is the same as the output on these because these could be all reading wrong <laughs> uh, from a start. So I can't remember which way around this has got to go. So uh, I will. Okay, there we go. Very quickly. Got one that's dancing around down the bottom at 12.6, 12, 12.7. 12, so I'm just going to turn it up a bit. And all the rest turn over at the same time. Okay. Oh, look at that. I'm just on the edge. Not much in it. 12 .8. 12 .7. 12 .6. So it's that one down there that's going last. Four, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, right. Okay, let's uh, let's just drop it down to our five volts or oh, four point two. Right, so that's about five volts. Let's dim the lights down and get our other meter out. Right, looking on the Ryobi multifunction meter, we will show him five volts pretty much on the dot. I'll, I'll be pretty hard pushed to actually adjust that any further. Um, 5.1. Shame these aren't to two decimal places. That might give us a better insight. But we're going to drop it down to 4.2. 4.15 on the meter. Yes, there we go. 4.2, and they're dancing around on the 4.2, which is good. We go down to 3.7 now. Seven nine and they're dancing between the two. It's a fine line. Right now we're down to three point four. Probably don't need me to tell you this because we've got two meters here. Now the cutoff is at three point two for these, I believe. Let's have a quick look at the packet. 3.2 to 30 volts. So if I go lower, ooh, we get 3.1 out of this. <laughs> now ideally we don't want to take the batteries down that far, but uh, 3.1 is the lowest it'll go, and it's reading 3.15 there, and any lower, and they go to zero, and then off. <laughs> okay, so if the meters go off, we know we're in trouble. But anywhere around three volts on the dot, it looks like you get the zero light up and nothing else. Whether you can use the zero as a three volt measurement, I, um, I don't know whether you can trust it or not. Uh, this one is measuring three volts. We'll just jack it up a little bit more. And we're going to 3.1s. Yeah, so um, I'm going to use these preliminarily for my project. And uh, basically, if, if I do come across uh, an, another one which will go a little bit lower, I might purchase a couple just to test. Um, but they seem to be all in step, uh, except for this one. Uh, although I think it's picked up at the lower voltages. Uh, it it's, um, seems okay. Still a little bit ahead. So I might take that one out with the rotation for now and keep that for another project. But they all seem to be reading the same, which is the important thing. It seems to be fairly accurate compared to my rover meter. Whether you trust the rover or not is another thing. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm quite pleased with that. So yeah, let me know what you think. Let me know what um, you're planning to use. 
um, on your packs so you can measure each pack individually without having to put a meter on them uh, lots of people seem to be using these style of meters yeah so let me know exactly which ones you're using if you are creating a power pack and uh, I'll see you in my next video cheers